students fourth semester students today we have the tissue culture lecture number 3 it's an important part to have this class in application of plant tissue culture in pharmacognosy so students should know that when they ask us an essay question simply if you write the application of various plants development it will not be sufficient you should write in detail in point by point how it is applied with examples you should specify so if you have a basic knowledge about the tissue culture or plant tissue culture then it is possible for you to write in detail very simple and you will get the full mark i have made this class in an examination point of view how a student can remember and to write even if they ask in an essay question just an application of plant tissue culture and the students can refer more and increase your knowledge according to the tissue culture this is just an only an outline of application but the innovative program and the latest technology in development of new drugs and new vaccines it's needed for you to know about biotechnology application by tap few examples of biotransformations are as follows alkaloids codeinone as a substrate a product can be obtained codein in papaver somni from this is a bio transformation product by substrate in the plant source of papaver somni from if you specify the students are getting understanding by the production of a phytopharmaceuticals in the reaction of bio transformation in plant tissue culture phenolics example resocinol glucoside product which is obtained from this substrate in datura insomia in sorry inoxia and steroids digitoxin the product from digitoxin substrate to digoxin in digitalis lenata phenolic flavonoids liquidity genin is a substrate which can give glucoside in datura inoxia and catharanthus roseus phenolic androquinones in ruin as a substrate and a product obtained is glucoside prilla frutisensis and phenolic cumarins in ambiliferous ambili ambilifron as a substrate into ambilifron 7 glucoside as a product in datura inoxia and catharanthus roseus terpenoids citrol as a substrate a product bio transformation citrol can be obtained in lavandula angustifolia and fertility restoration in transgenic plants transgenic plants have both basic and applied role in crop improvement examples like tobacco to- tobacco soya bean sadavari papaya liquorice neem etc so this makes the person to have an idea application of the tissue culture by production of phyto pharmaceuticals also the genetic transformation can give that phyto pharmaceuticals which is produced in them 
can give various resistance and various protection to the plant elicitas this also the fourth one the d in the production of phytopharmaceuticals the coming a division of elicitas they may ask a short what is elicitas so the students should know that elicitas are organic or inorganic agents used in tissue culture to trigger rapid to trigger rapid and increase the production of secondary metabolites see come to the point secondary metabolites or phytopharmaceuticals or rapid growth of plant cell culture so you can see elicitas are organic or inorganic agents induction of stress in the plant culture in terms of specific environmental physiological and biological conditions to enhance the production of secondary metabolites or phytopharmaceuticals is known as elicitation elicitation elicitas will cause elicitation the secondary compounds synthesized and accumulated in response to such conditions are called as the secondary metabolites or the phytopharmaceuticals or phytoconstituents which is produced synthesized in the plant by means of this elicitas or elicitation which is called as phytoalloxins they are defensing agent in invading pathogens to the plants so internally they will they will protect the plant by means of elicitas elicitation they can produce the phyto elixins phyto elixins which can act as a defensing agent in invading pathogens to the plants the signal triggering in the formation of phyto elixins are called as elicitas so elicitas definition you can have a clear cut detail you can give so you see an example of the picture in a wheat production of phyto elixins the function of a pathogen have been reversed by means of the phyto constituents or the phyto elixins produced by the elicitation of the wheat which all the compounds like phenyl amide phytalexin in wheat like n cinnamoyl hydroxy 8 oxy tryptamine n cinnamoyl 8 oxy tryptamine these all are the compounds which are responsible as a phyto elixin in wheat which can defend the invading pathogen as shown in the picture so they are produced by elicitas by elicitation so you can write very clearly what is an elicita and in elicitas also you have two types very a simple like abiotic biotic they have elicitas abiotic chemical and biotic they have abiotic chemical physical in chemical you can see heavy metals like silver cadmium copper and other ozone zones ozone ph control these all are chemical controls can be done in physical you can see uv radiation osmotic stress salinity salty that means salinity means salt content saltification salt content temperature stress ultrasound they are physical abiotic elicitas when you come to biotic endogenous exogenous endogenous cell wall fragments like oligosaccharides and protein fragments plant hormones jasmonic acid salicylic acid ethylene when it comes to exogenous complex yeast extract fungal spore bacterial lysates 
carbohydrates like cetin citrosen dextrin guar gum volatile oils like hydrocarbons proteins like cellulose so you see elucitas they produce protection for the plants by means of elucitization they can produce the phyto constituents which can prevent the plant from various pathogenic attack and in the used to showing the seeds and that are having the ability to convert into a plant under in vitro or ex vitro conditions and that retaining the potential also after storage this is an example for artificially wheat seeds and also artificial seeds for other plants are also available various plant species which are reported for artificially seed production are carrot alfa somatic hybridization banana cardamom shoot buds and shoot tips eucalyptus also used in aerial buds etc protoplast culture is the fourth application which we have already seen in the last class itself protoplast isolation plays the major role for mechanical isolation and enzymatic isolation you have to remember about that this is an application which we have done protoplast are plant cells with a plasm plasma membrane but without cell wall because of this the protoplast provide the starting point for many of the technique of the genetic manipulation or manipulators of plants in particular the induction of somatic somat or soma clonal or somatic clonal soma clonal variation somatic hybridization and genetic transfer they are cultivated in liquid as well as on solid media isolation of protoplast or by two methods as we have discussed that is protoplast can be isolated for almost all plants that is roots leaves fruits negative 196 degree centigrade that you should remember the preservation of cell tissue and organ in liquid nitrogen is called cryo preservation and the science pertaining to activity is known as cryobiology it's called cryobiology cryo preservation is a non lethal the cells should not be dead non lethal storage only you are making it to be statue or to stand or to stay still non lethal storage of biological material at ultra low temperature at temperature of liquid nitrogen minus 196 degree centigrade almost all the metabolic activity of the cell are ceased made still and the sample can then be preserved in such a state for extended period but not for all cells all plant cells it's not possible however only few biological materials can be frozen at 196 minus 196 degree centigrade without affecting the cell viability without affecting the cell viability not lethal storage very important these words cryo preservation a few endangered medicinal plants example dioscoria cirata podophyllum etc is done by these methods on the days days there are many but still a small example and i just pushing to the next point number 7 tracing the bio synthetic pathways of secondary metabolites bio synthetic pathway study by means of labeled compound isotopes tissue culture can be used for tracer techniques tracing the bio synthetic pathways of secondary metabolites using labeled 
preservation or precursor in the culture medium this is a long procedure there is very lot of examples but you will be studying about tracer techniques in the next semester so this is we, we are giving just a points which can be applied but it's lots a very very interesting application in tissue culture generation novel compounds from the plants novel compounds by various methods of plant tissue culture isolated of novel compounds liposomes phytosomes improvement in yield of existing compound can be achieved various compounds can be produced for various release of the drugs study natural release the latest novel drug delivery systems can also be done in this technique by means of using plant tissue culture and biotechnology number 9 respiration organ function and metabolism in plant tissue culture can be studied plant improvement by studying diseases of the plant and their elimination how the disease can be eliminated with the help of plant tissue culture resistance can be developed as we have discussed before and number 11 mutation and selection of mutant cells is done for significant contribution to a new genetic variability new genetic variability in the plant can be developed number 12 production of economical value economical value chemicals very very important chemicals producing chemicals by plant tissue culture by even example of insulin itself you can see by biotechnology by plant tissue culture which are not possible to with other chemical method can be developed by new researches can be done for making new new chemicals to increase the economic value by supplying the need of the medicines and chemicals for the mankind application of plant tissue culture to be remembered some of the points which we have discussed today is a conclusion and i want to make it very clear because they used to ask in an essay question students should not forget this 12 points and an in between the first point divided into four first one is production of phytopharmaceuticals which is having four different points also and number two micro propagation which we have discussed synthetic seeds protoplast culture and somatic hybridization isolation of protoplast mechanical enzymatic you have to remember hairy root culture how it is important cryopreservation cryopreservation don't forget the liquid nitrogen temperature minus 196 degrees centigrade seven tracing the biotechnology bio synthetic pathway tracer techniques labeled compound isotopes generation of novel compounds from the plants respiration organ function and metabolic studies plant improvement by studying diseases of plants mutant cell selection is done by addition of toxic substances production of economical value chemicals and in number 1 you should remember about the four points bio transformation various reactions and plant cell immobilization how it can be done by gel gel what all the compounds which is used and see genetic transformation like you should write about the transgenic plants elicitas by bi- abiotic elicitas biotic elicitas you should write about the elicitas how it can have the prevention towards the various pathological attack towards the plants can be prevented by the production of phytopharmaceuticals or the secondary metabolites of the plants so this is what i have given some points which i can give you can elaborate it by means of various references and do more reference and prepare your notes and listen to the class and make use of it thank you thank you for being with me for this